What's up everyone? Welcome back to F123 and F1 World. I'm really enjoying this. My opinion, I think Codemaster is taking this in a really good direction. I hope they keep building on it. Hope you enjoy this video and I hope you will come along for this adventure across the F1 world. With that said, let's hop into the cockpit. I think there's much I can change here. Well, a warm welcome from the commentary box to this it's not where you start, it's where you finish. Our F1 World drivers have had many ups and downs as they progress to this moment in their F1 World journey. But who... Anthony Davidson, here's a question for one of our drivers on the grid who seem to be operating at a lower level than some of the other drivers. Which car do I have? Is this too much of a challenge? I mean, that was my car, but I, I can't mean... tell which one I had. Is it the regular one? Or is it the... Verstappen special. I think it might be the Verstappen special. Uh, can I actually change this? Oh, I can't, man. I don't know where the hell. I should have paid attention to where I am. I don't know. We'll go. We'll just go with balance. That's fine. I don't know what else to do. We had a good start, and I haven't I haven't spun the car yet, so so far so good. It's been a while since I go back into this. It's, it's this is this is exactly why I drive. Please don't make fun of me. I do. I drive with the lines on uh, for the corners at least. Because uh, I, I don't play this constantly, so I don't know the tracks. Oh, uh, you know, I, I'm not super familiar with all the tracks. And, and, and the breaking points, I know there's signs up and everything, and uh, you have your uh, 100 meter, 50 meter marks and everything, and I mean, general rule, you break at the 100. Um, and if you, but if, if it's not like a sharp, or, uh, you can usually uh, break up the fifty. Let's use overtake and burn off some of this energy. You got a race engineer. Maybe one of these times I'll actually. Maybe at some point, like maybe if I play this enough and just consistently play it, I will learn these tracks. A, a lot better. And I, that's probably what I need to do. I, I just need to, I just need to play. I mean, it would also help if like the 50 to 100 meters were like standardized. But like, Cracks are like, they're always different. Sometimes they're up on the fences, they're small, they're white, they're orange. Uh, they're little signs on the ground, or they're signs on the ground. Um, they're, it, it, and it, it, how even for track, even for this track, it changes like corner to corner. And we had a brief lock up there, and then we're almost spun there. I do play with TC off. Uh, See right here, they're they were they're little orange signs. You can even see the numbers on them. Barely see the numbers. So. Oh, whoops! <laughs> uh, hope that wasn't important. Uh, 
Oh, I need to recharge. And, and you see, during the uh, during the practice, that the only downside of this during the practice sessions, I would learn where I want to deploy the ERS and reach recharge the ERS. Uh, and you know, with this, you don't, it's not an option. You're just running the race. Another downside of not knowing the tracks because I don't know. I mean, I know this is Abu Dhabi, so because I mean, very recognizable. What's that sound? It'd be a good time to jump in this game because one, I just I just uh, finished up uh, watching the Austria race, which was it was a good it was a good race. Um, <laughs> track limits, <laughs> the track limits and the penalties were a little ridiculous. Uh, I mean, I can understand the the stewards standpoint and it's just white line everywhere no matter what track it's just it's the white line and it's, it is what it is um but hopefully but i can also understand from the driver's standpoint uh with the wind swirling and uh the, the speed of the track it's it's not the easiest to keep it. It's not the easiest to keep it uh, within the track limits all the time. Still a good race overall. I was happy to see uh, McLaren's uh, performance uh, being stepped up with the upgrades that they have, and uh, from what they were what they're reporting. I uh, should down shift to the fifth there. That's okay. Is that this is only twenty five percent of the upgrades, and like they're bringing like the rest uh, to Silverstone, so. Uh, if, if the if this small package gained them such a huge delta in performance, uh, it'll be exciting to see what they bring. Yes, mate, we got the win, and you did it cleanly. Incredible. For them, which has paid off in spades, a great victory here at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. I like that. The highlighter yellow uniform Davis, yellow that we have going on. Them deliver this results, do you think? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed. Oh, I have I have that car that with me, so I only have the the, the Verstappen and special race distance. So being able to keep up the lap that up. times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tires. That's really where the race was won today. And Mike changed that up. 
Here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day. Yes, I am a Max Verstappen fan. I'm a fan of a lot of drivers. I don't think I hate any. I don't think I hate. There's not a, a single driver that I, I dislike. Can't think of one. Yeah, well, it's been so. glory for some, uh, less so for others. But who knows? The tables might turn next time out. Plenty more races to come this season. So join us again. Ooh, it is hot in here. I need to like turn on a fan or something. Starting to sweat. see insight oh and an epic principle and oh okay so i completed that welcome to f1 world like good i, I want to complete that because for one thing i want the i want the red bull miami uh livery and you have to complete the 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 Aust uh, austria uh fast lap challenge hot lap challenge New events unlocked. So solo multiplayer events. I'll show you mastery. Series events will grow to stay with that. Actually, stay with that. Graceline, are you towards the building experience? Comments at this track. Oh, night. There we go. I was just talking about this. The whole reason why I, I, I drive with the line on is because I, I don't I, I don't play this enough to, and I don't, I haven't mastered the tracks. It's pretty awesome. If this can actually accomplish that. If, I can, if this can accomplish that, you know, kudos to uh, kudos to the uh, uh, code masters. So then, I guess the first thing I want to start with is Europe One. Finish the race in 10th or better. Finish the race 5th or better, 3rd or better. Okay. This icon means that it's a licensed event. Licensed events offer different experiences based on your chosen license level. Respectful driving grants access to higher license levels, but incurring warnings and penalties will limit the range of licenses you can use. You can choose which license to drive under from those you have access to. Driving under higher level licenses will deliver a more authentic F1 experience. There are bonuses and benefits to driving under a higher license level. So to progress efficiently in F1 world, it's worth trying to gain a higher license. Okay. And welcome from the commentary box to our latest F1 world event. High up in the Austrian Alps, here we are at Spielberg as these drivers line up under the watchful eye of the giant steel bull. The history of this track, the legacy. Anthony Davidson's with me today. Imagine for one moment that your car is slower than the opposition's. All right, so third or better is the ultimate, is the ultimate goal here. Uh, why are we on wet? It's not even raining. Am I, am I, am I missing something here? Did I miss something?
a lot of spare energy, OK to use your overtake button. Trying not to lock up the wheel there. Felt like I was almost about to spin. Helicopter off to the right, look at the helicopter folks. One thing I need to get better with is my transition uh, to the gas at the apex. I need to get better with that. I know those stewards. DRS now enabled. DRS I, I, enabled. We just watched 71 laps of them just dinging people. I know these stewards. They are rock on these track limits. recovery <laughs> that was awesome I need that because I was just being stupid there I, mean, I, I felt me losing losing the car I just okay well done that's three clean laps in a row beautiful stuff keep it going beautiful stuff I just wanted to uh, rock it out to see what happened And again, you always test the limits. The way it works. It doesn't help the fact that uh, we're on full wet and the track is completely dry. And what is this? F. F. Three, right? If I'm not mistaken, F3, they don't, they don't have slicks in F3. Uh, they're always driving through tires. They need the track limits. Okay, final lap, let's go, final lap. Yeah, let's just, just, we're ERSing the whole way through this, if you can. And there we go, oh, the power of the back so car. Easy. It was nice and clean, and we took that victory. I'll be excited when these uh, F1 rolls. That's it then 
challenges get a little more uh, difficult. And of course, I'm going to run to the point where I'm going to get frustrated because I'm not the most skilled driver at this. So at some point, I'm going to reach my limit. That's going to be it for this part of F1 World. If you don't want to miss any further adventures across the F1 World, hit the notification bell so you'll know as soon as the new one gets uploaded. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.